Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com. I've got a lot of questions about uh, technical things to do out on the trail, how to drive, that kind of thing. So I wanted to talk about the most important thing today. And what is the most important thing? This? 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 Nope. I think the most important thing out on the trail is your tire pressure. So today we're going to do a little experiment. But first check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. It's got all the best off-road videos on YouTube in one spot, none of the boring stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here, Bleep and Jeep. Alright, so tire pressure. This is where a lot of people get it wrong. I see a lot of people out on the trail who drive their rigs out there. They leave their tire pressure up at 30 PSI, and that's the worst possible thing that you can do. A lot of people get this wrong, and we're going to do a little test. I'm going to air one tire up to 30 PSI. We're going to air down the other tire to 5 PSI, and I'm going to drive up this hill. We'll see which tire slips first. All right, so we're going to air this tire down to 5 PSI, and it's got a slow leak, and it's already there. And we'll air this side up to 30 PSI. All right, well, as you can see, if you want your Jeep to look really cool and tall, 30 pounds is the way to go. But if you want it to perform, well, let's just wait for the test results to see. What I'm going to do here is put it in two-wheel drive, and I'm going to unlock the locker, and uh, we'll see how it works. Alright, as you can see, this is real scientific, but I'm getting too much traction with these swampers, so I either need to find a steeper hill or a slicker surface. Let's go try some grass. Okay, I'm getting a little peeved here. It's like you guys are trying to prove me wrong. So to test it out again, I brought out the truck, and this is good because it's got uh, bald tires on the rear. So uh, let's give it another shot, see what happens. Got the same setup, 30 on this side, 5 PSI on this side. Alright, so now that you've seen it for yourself, you may have a question of why. Why does it make a difference? Well, having a lower tire pressure is just like wearing a snowshoe. If you've seen the guys walking on the top of the snow with a snowshoe, it gives them a larger footprint and lets them walk across the top instead of sinking right through. And the same is possible with your tire. Lower pressure, wider tire at the bottom, it gives you more of a footprint. It also grabs onto the rocks and surfaces a lot easier because it can conform around the edges. Let me show you an example with this rock. Alright, now in this video I'm going to show you a 30 pound PSI tire going over this rock. Watch as the tire just climbs right up on top. Doesn't even try to grab onto it. Just rolls over the very tip top of it. Now in this video I'm going to show you a 5 PSI tire. And watch as it completely envelops the rock. Grabs, gives so much traction. And it also gives you a much, much smoother ride because you're not feeling every single one of these rocks. Alright guys, so you may still have one more question, and that is, what can I air down to? If you're not running bead locks, you can go about 10 to 12 PSI. If you do have bead locks, you can go about 5 to 6 PSI. There's lots of reasons you might want to air down, including comfort, traction, and safety. There's one story out of Australia, I think it is, where a couple were out four-wheeling. They got stuck in the sand. They died there and starved for days. Whenever the rescue people came to rescue them, or came to uh, get their bodies, I guess, they were able to drive the Jeep right out of the sand after they aired down the tires. So that's another advantage right there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, Bleepin' Jeep. And don't forget to check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. It's got all the best off-road videos on YouTube in one spot. None of the boring stuff. Thanks so much.